I met Martha Scutia when she was a student at USC and uh, got to know right away what an extraordinary talent uh, she was. I, I was basically a commuter student, but I was commuting by bus. I was taking four buses a day. We always uh, uh, test ourselves or compete with each other in terms of not necessarily academics, but in terms of how many buses it would take us to get to class. Just so that you know, I took more buses than Martha. I'm first generation born here in the United States and my grandfather would always say that he did not cross the border and work as a bracero in order to have grandchildren that did nothing in the world. Without a doubt, I, mean, I don't even have to think about who was her biggest influence that was her grandfather. Obviously they must have instilled in her a sense of commitment to the community because already as a student she already was full of fire. I have the honor of presenting her with the John R. Hubbard Award when she was about to graduate as the top uh, student in her class. She then goes on to uh, law school at Georgetown, distinguish herself there so much that she studies at The Hague, which a lot of attorneys don't get to do. This pen was given to me by, by Ma Marty, as I call her, uh, when the, my husband gave me a surprise party. Uh, Martha, of course, was part of the surprise, and so she also uh, presented me with a surprise question. She gave me my pen as a birthday present and then she asked me to be her campaign manager when she launched her campaign in 1991. I met Marta Scutia probably 20 years ago when she was a member of the state legislature. My impression then uh, was the impression I have now. She was smart, she was compassionate, persistent, uh, and she was a good person. As an assemblywoman and as a senator, she always pushed for health care for children. In fact, she did such a wonderful job that she is now recognized as the creator of the Healthy Families Program. Martha is a role model. Martha was a role model in her academics when she was here. When she ran for office, won, and did the wonderful things that she did. And she became a role model because she started her own law firm. And now she's still a role model because she's here at USC and doing things for the community. I think the uh, passion, commitment, integrity are, is the hallmark of uh, Senator Scutia that never changes, no matter what she's doing. In my organization, um, a large part of it is our government relations work. And I came to the conclusion, along with our president and some others, that we needed really to uh, enhance that function. The name who immediately came to mind was Martha Scutia. When I found out that Martha was coming to USC, I, as well as the members of the Latino Alumni Association, were just ecstatic. Yeah, one of the things uh, this university faces virtually every year is an effort to reduce what we call Cal grants. Those are grants to low-income students. And often because of budgetary concerns, um, there's consideration giving to reducing or eliminating those Cal grants. And for the last two years, Martha has led the effort to avoid those potential reductions. Well, Martha, uh, I think this is long overdue. Congratulations. You well deserve it um, uh, for all your hard work uh, and your continued uh, effort to focus and uh, help out the community. Uh, I want to thank you also uh, for being uh, a true friend. Muchas gracias. Una amiga de corazón. Martha, congratulations on being selected as one of the honorees tonight. You certainly deserve to be recognized for all that you have achieved and for all that you have done to help the children and the young people in California, especially those in Southern California, of course. I appreciate you as a friend, as a colleague, and now, of course, as a member of the USC Trojan family. Congratulations, well deserved.